up YouTube. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Today I have for you a video that I was tagged for a long time ago and we're talking months and I have actually filmed this video not once but twice and both times had an issue with my SD card and ended up with corrupted files and yeah but I was tagged by the beautiful Summer from It's Always Summer. I will link her up there for you. And this was created by another good friend of mine, Amy Lynn, and I will link her up there for you. And it's called a Check Out My Channel Tag. When I read the questions and heard their answers, I thought this is a really cool tag because I think it would be interesting to know the heart and the intent behind a YouTuber's channel. And so after answering these questions, I think you will have just that. So let's get into them. The first question is, what is your content based on? The content of my channel is obviously beauty based. I love makeup, fragrance, I love beauty boxes, I love doing unboxings and tutorials, all things beauty based. I do throw in some personal things from time to time, like heart to heart videos where I talk about topical issues. I have done a couple of vlogs and that was a lot of fun. So just a variety of things, but mostly beauty based makeup based beauty based yeah number two why did you pick the types of videos to create I love makeup I've been a makeup addict very much so for the last five years um, very very much so in the last couple of years and especially since I started my channel I did go to cosmetology school whenever I was in high school and so I am a licensed cosmetologist and that was always my passion and my joy but whenever I was putting myself through college I did do nails in a salon and it was very difficult to build a clientele without being able to be there full-time and after college I had to find a way to make a living so that I could you know eat and have a roof over my head and when you're paying a booth rental and you are not making any money it's a very difficult thing to do to have the time to build a clientele and so I chose these videos to, to create for my channel because makeup is my passion and beauty products are my passion and I want to share that with people um, as far as tutorials and actual makeup application are concerned I love it and I love being a teacher I love teaching other people how to do things that maybe they didn't know how to do before and so I love showing you how I put on makeup showing you different techniques that I've learned and things that I've learned I love sharing that with you also because I just love talking about makeup I say that I love to geek out on makeup with people that understand because we're you know makeup enthusiasts we're we are a rare breed we really are and what I mean by that is how many people do you know that can sit together with another person and talk about makeup for three hours and not run out of things to say yeah we're a rare breed and I think we're super cool so that's great and everything else but we are rarely understood except by another makeup enthusiast number three what makes you different than other channels in the same genre um, me I make it different <laughs> I think every person that has a channel makes it different and if you're able to put across who you are to other people and your heart behind what you're doing on YouTube to other people I think that makes your channel unique I think all of our channels are unique I've met so many cool people I've learned so many different perspectives that I didn't have before becoming a youtuber and so I think that the person that is putting themselves out there is what makes them unique and that's what makes my channel unique it's my perspective it's my opinion it's my preference it's the way I like to do things it's the different kinds of makeup that I like it's not going to be the same as anybody else and I'm kind of a unique creature just all the way around if you hadn't noticed if this is your first video of mine you'll figure it out eventually for those of you who know me yeah I'm just a unique kind of cat <laughs> yeah I'm just a unique cat <clears throat> Number four, what is your most viewed video? I was actually surprised by this, but my most viewed video is my fragrance collection. And I did this as a request from somebody because they just wanted to know what, what fragrances I had. And I do love perfume and I love to smell good and I love the girly part of, of 
putting on perfume and just smelling beautiful all the time but it's not something that I thought I would ever take the time to show people what I have and yes just like my makeup collection my fragrance collection is also excessive I'll link it for you you can go see what I'm talking about but I just really do love it and it is part of the beauty world and so I'm happy that that video did well but I was very surprised by that number five videos that you are the most proud of I think that I'm most proud of my heart-to-heart -heart videos my vlogs and any makeup tutorial that I've done um, I am also very proud of my cross wall video because I felt like that was a I felt vulnerable and I felt like that was a risk putting that out there because um, there are so many different faiths in the world right now that sometimes there's a negative view of Christians and so I just felt really um, like I was burying my soul by sharing that and but I still am really proud of it but anything that I put out to you guys I do my very best I work hard at the editing I do <laughs> I've been working really hard on my lighting trying to make it better for you so I'm really proud of anything that I put out there but obviously some more than others as for the vlogs and the heart to hearts I just really feel like you get to know me in those videos and you find out my perspective on things and it really kind of gives you an insight into my life and that's why I'm proud of those sometimes it's difficult to put yourself out there that way but every time that I have I've been received with such love and empathy and compassion and all the things that uh, we need to give more to each other as human beings we we need to do that more and I receive that very much so on my crosswall video on my vlogs on my heart to hearts um, where I really sh shared my heart and felt kind of vulnerable and kind of transparent and not so comfortable um, but I'm most proud of those because I took a risk and I think in life you just have to sometimes otherwise things become very mundane things become very surface and I'm not about surface I'm about let's dig let's dive way down into the deep end <laughs> that's kind of my philosophy on, on life especially as I get up there it's like you know in, in your early years you think about what what impact is this gonna have on my future now you're just like I am in my future and everything's gonna be okay say what you need to say do what you need to do number six what top three videos should people watch to get the best idea of, of who you are well I think I just mentioned all of them my vlogs my heart to heart videos and then there's a get to know me tag and I'll link all these in the cards and I'll also put them in the bottom bar for you if you're intrigued by anything that I'm talking about you can go check it out and watch the videos yourself but yes my vlogs my heart to hearts and um, my cross wall video um, and also of course the get to know me tag I mean that's what it's for is to get to know me so that would give you the best idea of who I am those things Number seven, what improvements or ideas have you done to try and grow your channel? I've done tons of research. I, I'm just a researcher. Before I do anything, I, I feel like I want to make informed decisions. So I watched all the YouTube gurus and all the people that had tips and tricks for growing your channel. Um, I've learned about photography and I've learned about lighting. I've had lots of people who are very gracious to help me learn about those things. Sabrina the Makeup Mom, Marlo Keenan. I've had so many people who have helped me with my camera, my lighting and all those things. Um, and tons of friends, Courtney and Lisa and all these people that will give me honest feedback when I ask for it. And my friend Becky, my mom even. So it's nice to get honest feedback from people who love you and just want you to grow and improve. And even if it's not good news, at least it's something that you can take into consideration, try to improve upon and move on from. Um, I have bought a new camera. I have bought new lighting. I've changed things around in my room. I, all these things trying to make the content better for you so that my channel would grow. Number eight, is this a hobby or something you'd like to do full time? I've always kind of said that I ultimately would hope to do this full time because this is my joy and my passion and who doesn't want to make a living doing something that they absolutely love. I also am realistic in that that doesn't always happen for people and sometimes it remains small sometimes it blows up you just never know what video is going to be the one that people really take interest in and that gets a lot of exposure for instance my 
fragrance video got tons of exposure. I don't know why. And I was super surprised by it. But um, for now, I'm content being a teacher and doing this as my side hustle, my side gig. And hopefully as I get closer to retirement later on in my life, maybe it can be you know a part-time job for me to do once I'm done teaching. If the opportunity presented itself for me to do it full-time, I know that I would. Number nine, video ideas you have never filmed or posted but really wanted to. I have notebooks full of ideas and as I move down the list filming these videos, I add more to the bottom. I am a very creative person. I have a lot of creative ideas but my issue is always that I don't have enough time to do them all. I have lots of great ideas and not the time to um, bring them to fruition always. And so I don't really think I have a, a video idea that I wanted to do that I didn't. I think I have hundreds of ideas that I want to do that I haven't yet, but that hopefully I will get to. Number 10, overall goals for your channel. My goal for my channel has always been to be a bright spot in somebody's day, to be a place where people can be accepted and loved, um, come in, you know, chill with me, talk with me, hang out with me, listen to my opinions on Makeup Geek Out with me, you know, correspond back and forth in, in the comment section and get to know people and make friends, like-minded and like-spirited people, you know, it's always been something that has been a goal you know, a community, build a community around my channel. That was always a goal. Um, I have, you know, monetary and as far as an occupation goals, like I've already said, I wanted to get a thousand subscribers. I wanted to get monetized. I wanted to be able to fully finance my channel with my income from YouTube and then I eventually would like to do it full time. I always have an overall big picture in my mind whenever I dive into something, when I start to pursue something. I don't I don't ever ha see like an end to it. It's like okay, when I get to here, I will be happy that I or I feel I will feel like I've arrived if I get to this particular point. Um, once I get to that point, I do enjoy it and celebrate it for a moment. But then I'm on to the next one, on to the next goal. I'm very goal oriented and goal driven, and I'm like that with everything that I do in my life. It's like I think it's me being my father's daughter. To be honest, he's very much like that and I've had a model of that my whole life and I just kind of followed in his footsteps in that regard. So I want it to go as far as it's going to go. I want it to go as far as God wants it to go. And as long as I'm still having fun, as long as it's still my joy and passion, I'm going to keep trucking along. It might be five years, might be 20, who knows? We'll see what the future brings. Number 11, what are the best reasons for a viewer to subscribe to your channel? Again, all this here, all that's in here, all that's in here, just me. Duh. If you love makeup, if you love beauty, if you like people who are nerdy and geeky and quirky and weird and strange and slightly funny sometimes, not even trying to be, then that's a reason for you to watch my channel. I would hope that you would enjoy my personality, my perspective on life, the things that I share with you from my love of makeup and my passion of creative expression. I hope that that would be a bright spot in somebody's day. I hope that that would be something that would be interesting and engaging and fun for somebody to watch. That's what I try to do, so that's why I think that you would enjoy checking out my channel. Number 12, a video that got a lot of views that you didn't expect. I've already discussed this, my, definitely my fragrance videos. It just completely shocked me that that, those have, that, that video continues to be viewed a lot and that I have so many views on it. Number 13, videos you thought you would have gotten more views but didn't. I think a lot of times whenever I have a newer product that I haven't seen a lot of reviews on or a lot of tutorials on, I kind of expect that since I'm one of the first people that has put it out there that I will get a ton of views and that's not always the case. I, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to why. <laughs> I really don't think there's a rhyme or reason like the algorithm and all the things that people say. Um, the things that you do, the adjustments that you make to make better content, to post it at the right time, to post it in the correct way, to have the right thumbnail, all the things that we all do to try to make our content good. 
sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes those videos that you spent the most time on, that you did the, you know, put on the most bells and whistles and did the coolest editing and added the neatest music and all those things that you do when you have time to really do your absolute best with those things, it doesn't always result in more views. Time spent, time invested doesn't always result in more views. That's just the truth of it. Is it fair? Not necessarily but it's just the name of the game. That's the way it goes. And like I said, you never know what is going to resonate with people. You never know what is going to blow up or what's going to fizzle out. You don't know what it is that that particular person on that particular day is looking for. Number 14, what makes you excited about creating new content? It continues to be my passion. There's always new makeup. There's always new techniques. There's always something to learn and there's always something to pass on to somebody else. And as we live our lives, I mean, everything, nothing is static. Everything is evolving and growing and changing every moment of the day. And so as the person who is doing the YouTube channel, me in this regard, grows and changes, there's so much more to share. And like I said, I have all these ideas of all these creative things that I would like to do and it's exciting to think about all those things and to kind of make a plan of action and this is what I'm going to share at this particular time and I'm excited about Christmas because I'm going to do a Christmas look or all those things there's always something to look forward to there's always if nothing else the therapeutic nature of express expressing yourself and talking about and using and showing and teaching about something that you're passionate about, it's exciting. And I think if it wasn't exciting, I wouldn't continue to invest the amount of time and energy that I use and invest to do this because I love it and I enjoy it. So obviously that's why I do it. But that's also what makes me excited about creating the content because I love it. Number 15 is tag and link three other channels to do this tag to help spread the word. So I'm going to tag Courtney KH, Marlo Keenan, and Nikki Raven, which is one of my friends from my beauty YouTuber group. And she's done quite a few tags recently, so I know she probably enjoys them. But I just think that she would have interesting answers, and I'm also interested in her heart behind her channel. Even though I know some of it from watching and observing, I still think it would be fun for her to do this tag. So I'm tagging you three girls, Courtney, Marlo, and Nikki. I will put their links down in the bottom bar for you guys to check them out. And whenever their videos come to be, then I'll also include those. So thank you so much, Summer, for tagging me to, the, to do this video. I apologize that it took me so long to get it filmed. I tried. And whenever you have corrupted files two times in a row, it's really hard to make yourself do it a third time. And also thank you to Amy Lynn for creating this tag. I think it's a, a really neat tag and I like the questions. And I like that now after watching this video tag, People will know all these things about me and my channel. And I think that when people know the motivation and the heart behind something, I think it's a much easier to invest in that. So, okay, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this. Cross your fingers because I'm getting ready to go check my footage and I'm praying to God that it's there this time because if it's not, if it's corrupted a third time, I think then that's just, that's just a sign like you're not supposed to do this, Sherry. But it's going to be there this time, right? You guys are going to finally get to see this. So thank you again for being here, for checking out this tag and listening to my answers and caring about what I have to say. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye guys. The first channel, channel. So that's why I chose to do these kind of videos. Also, because I just love talking about me. me, me bleh. Like, what? How can most people? I'm number eleven. What are the best reasons for a beauter? <clears throat> a beauter.